ABC 7 business commentator Richard Stern joins us now, and it was a down day to start our new week on Wall Street. Richard? Scott, you're absolutely right, but when I look back at what's been happening since November, we've had three and a half months of almost markets going straight up. So a little bit of profit taking, and I think that's really the case today, is what happened. The low of the day was minus 93. We did see that uh, mid-morning, but when you see the close, you'll see it's not all that terrible. Let's take a look at the closing numbers for the day. There you see the Dow fell 51 points, one quarter of 1%, closing at 20,954.34, that on volume of 688 million shares. The NASDAQ for the day was down by almost four-tenths of 1%, 21 points, closing at 5,849.18, that on volume of 1,505 million shares. And the S&P, it's a trifecta on the downside, down eight points, one-third of 1%, closing at 2,375.31. General Motors today announced with big smiles that it has finally sold its Opal division. I say with big smiles because Opal has been a huge problem for GM. They have lost $18 billion in the last 16 years. I guess that's not working too well. They sold it for $2.3 billion to a French company, the same company that makes Citroën and Peugeot. Pardon my French, not so good. Anyway, that being said, General Motors stock actually went lower for the day, but I've got a feeling, Scott, that as things go on, they'll be very happy that uh, Opal is in their rear, rear view mirror, if you will. Yeah, losing that much money, I would imagine so. Yeah. You also have news on uh, Snapchat, which was a, a big winner last week. Right, that was the big hot IPO of the week. But guess what? Today is a new week. The stock was down 12% for the day, down below $24, which was the original offering price to the general public. Oh. All right. Richard, thank you so much for the update. You're welcome.